What's up? I'm Brie Victoria and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, tap that subscribe button to join the fam and don't forget to hit that little bell beside it to turn on post notifications to be the first one to know when I post a new video. So today I'm testing out viral TikTok beauty hacks to see if they really live up to the hype. With that being said, let's get started. So the first TikTok beauty hack that I'm going to test is actually an eyebrow hack by So Primp. I'll put the clip up real quick and then we'll try it ourselves. As always, I'm going to put my hair back in a headband just to get it out of the way. This time I really am pushing it back. So what she did was she went in with some eyeshadow and a blending brush and then cleaned it up with a makeup wipe. As you can see, it's a little crazy, it's a little messy, but it gets cleaned up at the end, so that's good. I'm gonna go into my Morphe X James Charles palette and I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is T. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, I guess, place that on the brows. I'm scared. Okay, I'm actually scared. What do I, like, what if it doesn't work? I guess we're, this is why we're putting it to the test, right? So she just kind of buffed it onto the eyebrow <laughs> okay so obviously this isn't a look I mean if you like it then you know you can do whatever you want but I wouldn't wear this in public obviously so what she did was she took a makeup wipe and she kind of just like removed around the brow. Okay, so it definitely did something. I mean, it makes the brow a little like more harsh than usual because you're packing on that product. Unless you want a really dark brow, I probably wouldn't do this or maybe I'd go in with like a lighter shade in the front. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it from the other brow and then we will move on. I'm gonna try to like comb out the front a bit, maybe blend it a little bit. Okay, so that's what we have when it's all brushed out. And I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but hacks are supposed to make your life a lot easier. And if anything, this was harder than doing your brows. Doing brows on the daily, you'd usually just carve them out with concealer if you went over a little bit. But with this, you're using a whole you know, makeup wipe, and as you can see, it's kind of a waste. It's kind of just doing your brows, but with extra steps. I mean, I'm gonna have to rate this one maybe a two out of 10, just because I wouldn't do it again. What do you guys think? Okay, so I guess we're gonna move on to our next hack. This next TikTok beauty hack is actually a foundation hack. I'll go ahead and play the clip for you. If you wear makeup, watch. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one, and I just lightly dab it all over my face. Not too much. Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your makeup is gonna look so she says to moisturize and then go in with a little bit of translucent powder I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the brush and I already moisturized because I do that right after I wash my face too much moisturizer is actually not good for the skin so I'm not gonna go in with any more I'm just gonna go straight in with the powder she said not to go in with too much so I'm tapping off the excess if we're going to test this hack, we might as well test it full force, right? I mean, those eyebrows were like 0 to 100 real quick, so I ain't worried. Okay, so now that I have the powder on there, she says to go in with a little bit of setting spray. I'm actually using the NYX setting spray, just like she did. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that all over the face. Hello? <laughs> oh, I got my eye. She says to make sure that's completely dry before you go in with your primer, so that's what we'll do. My face kind of feels a little sticky. 
um, in the cheek areas. I don't know if that's because there's like powder underneath the setting spray or just because there's setting spray on my skin at all before my makeup. But that's fine. We're testing. We're testing. One, two, three. We're testing. Now with the primer, we're going to go ahead and place that all over the face. I'm actually so scared. I feel like it's going to crumple up and I mean, oh, I don't know. <laughs> It's actually not picking up any powder from the face, so I guess that setting spray really was needed. Now that my face is primed, set, and powdered, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my foundation. She says to go in with your foundation the way you usually would, and that's what I'm gonna do. I don't see much of a difference. Um, if anything, it took longer than doing your makeup regularly. So once again, hacks are supposed to make life easier, and if anything, this is making life harder. Okay, so right away I'm noticing that it's kind of showing my pores a little bit more. I don't know if you can see, but around here I'm seeing more pores than usual. I'm seeing a little bit more product on the skin. So yes, it's giving a nice coverage, but I'm seeing a lot more product buildup. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty flawless. I definitely don't hate it. I like it a lot, actually. Um, my eyebrows are so dark. It's a little more textured up close around the nose area and the high points of the cheeks. I'm gonna give this hack actually a nine out of 10. Why didn't I give it a 10 out of 10? One, it takes way too long to do, especially if you have work in the morning and you kind of just want to get up, slap a face and makeup on and go. So this next hack that we're gonna do is actually a concealer facelift hack. Let's try it. We'll see where we go. I'll let you see the clip. I'm gonna show you this life changing facelift concealer hack. This is how I used to do my concealer, triangle under the eye. It's a very bright, very dramatic concealer everywhere. With this technique, you strategically place it on the inner and outer corner of the eye going upwards, and this will lift the face. If you have dark circles, just use a color corrector before your concealer. This uses less product, so it looks more natural, but you can use it for everyday or dramatic looks. I always set my concealer with a powder just to make sure that nothing creases. This is literally a facelift without the surgery and your face will be snatched. As you can see, she placed the concealer in certain areas on her face. I've done my concealer on camera before, so you know I do always place my concealer on the inner corner and the outer corner already. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. She says to place it here, here going upwards. She placed it on like the outside of her nose. And I'm just going to go ahead and start blending that out. I usually don't put concealer on the side of my nose, so that's new. Okay, so with this hack, um, I don't see much of a difference in the eye area just because, as I said, I do this already with my concealer by putting it on the inner corner and the outer corner. Um, in the nose area, I, I mean, it looks nice. Um, it doesn't look too crazy. Um, but in the mouth area, that's something I might keep doing. It definitely kind of brightens up this area, but when I go in with concealer, I usually place it here on the nose and on the forehead just to kind of highlight, and um, it kind of looks like it's missing right now. My final rating for this hack is going to be an 8 out of 10. It definitely lives up to its hype. Moving on. Okay, so I went ahead and just carved out my brows, added a bit of eyeshadow and bronzer on the cheekbones, forehead, and chin. And I'm actually liking how the brows look if they weren't so dark. So maybe next time I would just add a lighter shade to the inner portion of the brow. So this next hack is actually going to help us contour our nose. It's by the beautiful Nikki Tutorials, such a talented makeup artist and content creator. Love her. So let's put this hack to the test. I'll show you what it is right now. All right, so you wanna contour your nose without any failures? Let's go. First, you're gonna need your bronzer. Take the bronzer on a brush, and literally what you start doing is bronze your entire nose from tip all the way to the bridge. It's gonna look like a mess right now, but trust me, we will pull through. Okay, now here's the trick. You take your face powder and a dry beauty blender, and you're gonna snatch the sides. The more you bring this in, the smaller your nose is gonna look. So we're gonna make this as big as you like. Hmm? Like literally, look how small that looks already. Don't forget the bridge. Wanna make that nice and light as well. Boo! 
take a big phrase faith breath oh my god english what even is it and start buffing all of this out until it's soft some highlighter to just the tip and the bridge and you're done okay she's so talented with makeup do you see that she looks so snatched all the time oh my god so what she says to do is go in with your favorite bronzer and just kind of place it on the nose usually when i'm contouring my nose i would use a smaller brush and kind of outline the sides but with this she's saying just to place it all over the nose so that's what we're gonna do so it looks a little crazy like she said it would um then she says to go ahead and just snatch the sides with a translucent powder and a dry beauty blender so i'm gonna go ahead and do that And like she said, the smaller you make this line, the more snatched the nose is going to look. So we're gonna go for quite the small bridge, just to see how far we can take this. And she also said to put a little bit on the bridge of the nose as well. So we'll just go ahead and try to do that. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and we'll see what happens. Don't even have a watch. <laughs> okay, so now that I look like I just kissed Jack Frost, um, I need to just quickly dust the rest of it off. It's been sitting there for about two minutes. I don't want it to be too, too light in that area. So I'm kind of like, should I? she didn't say how long to leave it on. So I don't know. Usually I bake for about two to five minutes anyways. So I'll just go ahead and dust that off. Now I'm just gonna quickly give my brush a quick, hello, spray of Fix Plus. And she said to place a little bit of highlighter on the bridge of the nose and the tip of the nose like usual. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'll just blend that out with a thicker brush, make it a little more natural looking. And while we're at it, we'll just go ahead and highlight the rest of the face as well. So once again, Fix Plus. Okay, so here's the final result of the nose contour hack. I love it, 10 out of 10. I'm giving it like the best review. If I can give it higher than 10, I would. It looks so soft, so natural. Like I'm just really liking how it turned out. Usually I'd go in with a really small blending brush and just like chisel out that whole area and then blend it in and so on and so forth. But with this, it was so easy. It just really made my life easier, which is why we want hacks. Now, like I said, 10 out of 10, Nikki tutorials is a goddess at makeup i love her she's so talented and uh, obviously she knows what's up when it comes to makeup so nikki thank you you probably won't be seeing this for a really long time if you ever even see it it'd be cool if you did but a girl can only dream right <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the next one which is actually a blush hack and i'll show you what it is right now the way you're putting on your blush could actually be aging you. If you use one of these big brushes and kind of put it all over your cheek, it could be dragging your face down. So what I like to do is I like to use a foundation brush and I put it right above my cheekbone to kind of lift my face and you can see the difference right here. Okay, so as she mentioned, the placement of your blush really does matter and it can give the illusion of your face being dragged down. When I apply my blush, I usually go in with a fluffy angled blush brush and I just place it on the outer area of the cheekbone. I try not to pass my pupil area because that's when it gives that effect of it dragging down. So obviously we're not gonna be using that brush today. We're gonna be putting another brush to the test. She went in with a foundation brush. Now I'm not a big fan of foundation brushes because I do find they tend to absorb a lot more product than needed. And then when you do place it on, it doesn't really blend out properly. So I actually have a brush that's very similar to a foundation brush. It's just a little more fluffy, a little less dense. So on one side of my face, I'm gonna go in with the foundation brush and we'll see if this really works. So I'm gonna go ahead in with that on the tops of my cheekbones. Right away, I'm noticing that the foundation brush absorbed a lot of the product, like I said previously. It did give a nice little natural kind of shade to the uh, cheeks, but it didn't really give me that much color payoff like I hoped it would. Now I'm going to go in with this little bit of a fluffier brush. It's more of like a highlighter brush that I'm using right now. 
tapping off that excess always because you don't want too much color. And we're gonna see what that does. Okay, so right away I noticed the fluffy brush did actually make a huge difference when it came to the color payoff. Overall, I do like the placement. Um, it's a little further back than I usually place it. It's definitely a lot more natural, so I might stick to this one. Um, not with the foundation brush, but with the fluffy brush, obviously. I'll give this hack an 8 out of 10, just because I'm not a fan of the foundation brush. It's definitely easy. Um, so yeah, 8 out of 10, final answer. Moving on to the next hack. Okay, moving on to our next hack, which is actually a mascara hack. Now, if you've ever used mascara, you know it could get messy, especially if you're in a rush. Let's see what it is. Here's what you do when you get mascara on your top lid. First, we're gonna let it dry. Whatever you do, don't go in straight away and try to touch it. That's only gonna make it more messy because it's still wet, so let it dry down first. Now go ahead and take a dry mascara spoolie or even a toothbrush and go over it lightly, just trying to flick off that mascara. So you're just dry brushing and flicking this off of the skin. It's gonna start slowly coming off. Go over it a few more times until that really dark pigment is off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just curl my eyelashes. So the mascara I'm using right now is the Lash Sensational, wow, that's a tongue twister. The Lash, the Maybelline Lash Sensational. So I just finished my first coat of mascara and I'm actually going to go back in for a second coat but I'm going to make it a little more messy because apparently we can clean it up like magic. So let's see if this hack lives up to the hype. Oh, uh oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> okay, so she says to let that dry. Um, before you touch it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye while that dries. So usually if I'm doing my mascara and this happens or I get it on the eyelid, I do let it dry anyways. That's something I learned very early on in my makeup journey. Um, if you touch it when it's wet, it's gonna smear everywhere. It's gonna be a bigger mess. So I always let it dry either way. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. I'm just gonna quickly see if it's completely dry. Okay, no transfer. That's good, means it's dry. She says to go in with a spoolie and just kind of brush it away. Um, I mean, I'm gonna like show you, it's taking off my foundation, but it's not taking off the mascara that was there. Ooh, you gotta really get in there, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna come really close to the camera and I'm gonna let you see what it did. Now, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting that. As you can see, it did remove the mascara, but it also removed everything that was underneath it. In the video, she must have like maybe touched it up after, which is, okay, that's cool. It's a good way to remove it. But the way I remove it doesn't completely remove everything underneath. So I probably won't be doing this again. And I'm gonna give this hack a two out of 10. It did too much is what it did. So I'm gonna go in with a dab of concealer and just fix that. And I'm just gonna like blend it in just to kind of fix it up. Okay, moving on to our final TikTok beauty hack. It's actually one of my favorite hacks out of all of them. I've never tried it, but that's why we're here. So let's see what it is. Okay, so that one was by Soph Does Life. She's a very talented makeup artist and YouTuber, and she did it really well. So let's see if it works for me. So I'm just gonna take the cap of the NYX setting spray and like she did, she just sprayed a little bit in there. And then she took some bronzer, I have the same one. And she just went in and kind of gathered a lot of extra product. Uh-oh, where did that go? I spilled it, oh no. And then she kind of just tapped it into there. Now I'm gonna give it a little mix. Kind of looks like chocolate milk. I'm not gonna drink it though. Bad idea. Don't drink setting spray or bronzer for that matter. 
any makeup. Don't. Just not a good idea. Then she went and just absorbed all of that with her brush. I'm so scared. Okay. Then she went in and just kind of flicked. Oh. <gasps> oh, well, it works. Then she just flicked the product where she wanted it to go. So I want a little bit more on my nose, so I'm just gonna... Wow, wow, that really works. I mean, I would use a smaller brush if you wanna really concentrate on this area. I kinda went a little crazy, like I always do. Like it really looks like real freckles, like I can't believe it. It's so cute. So for this hack, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. This really worked very well. It lived up to the hype and um, it just looks so cute. So here's the finished product. I don't know if you can like see, but they look like real freckles. Like, oh, I love it. So those of you with real natural freckles, I love you. You're beautiful. I wish I had natural freckles, but I don't, um, even though I've had countless sunburns on my face. For some reason, freckles never wanted to show up, but it's okay because you should love yourself however you are. And now I can have faux freckles. I would definitely try this again. I love it. Okay, that was our last hack, and most of them did live up to the hype. Some of them not so much, but that's okay because that's why we did this video. I can debunk them so you don't have to. Between the faux freckles and the nose contour, they're both YouTubers, so obviously they both know what's up with, you know, makeup. But, yeah, I, I'm gonna just give them both, like, a real thumbs up. I love it. They're both 10 out of 10, so those are my two favorites. I would recommend trying them out. Try them all if you want to. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Keep in mind, next Friday is the first episode of my surprise series that I mentioned in my first video. It's gonna be super fun. I can't wait to drop it. You guys are gonna love it. Um, I'm so excited to do it. Like, you have no idea. You're not gonna know until next Friday, so stay tuned, because you don't wanna miss it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm looking forward to growing my YouTube fam, and I'll see you next Friday. Peace.